How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, as always, Hixie Dust, here with my two sons, Benny and Jace, here for another episode of the Hixie Dust Family Gaming Podcast. So today we'll be continuing one of our previous episodes. Our first episode, I believe we talked about Pokemon, Gen, our favorite Pokemons from Gen 1, 2, and 3. And in this episode, we'll be talking about our favorite Pokemons from Gen 4, 5, and 6. So who wants to kick us off for Generation me, 4? Me, 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 me. All right, which one did you like? It would be... Daddy Dino. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, he, he's talking about Turtwig. And the reason he calls it Daddy Dino is because, one, it looks like a dinosaur, and two... As his dad, it's one that I use quite often when building my Gen 4 team, hence Daddy Dino. So what do you like about him? I know you have a plushie of him. What do you like about him specifically? Uh, a keychain about him. Keychain? Yeah, there's like a, and there's also a, like a keychain plush. Mm -hmm. And and I, all, I always like him. But he's is like, there anything specific you like about him? Do you think he's cute? Do you, do you like, like, what, what, what would you he like? He looks cute. Yeah. See, he looks like you. He's a little turtle. He's got leaves on his head. Yeah, and he has a a a, a shell on him. Mm -hmm. He's like he's like a dino store <laughs> and like a turtle. All right, so Jace, you want to go next? Yeah. My favorite Gen Four Pokemon is Garchomp. Garchomp is the pseudo legendary for Generation Four. It's probably the most strongest Pokemon in the game. Doesn't uh the the uh, what is it? The champion of yeah, that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, the champion I, I, Cynthia. I Cynthia know. uses it as the like main that, Pokemon, that one, that one. and um, yeah. So just never try to fight that person unless you have an Whoa. ice type. I think Gibble is my probably like one of the Anybody most adorable first forms of any of the pseudo legendaries. The hundred. Can I play something? Let's you. Out of any pseudo legendary, first evolution is probably. Not the cutest. I feel like if I walked okay, near, it would bite my hand off. If I chomp, it's probably like the worst Pokemon to find in a battle because it has a very, very strong attack, attacking moves like Earthquake, and I'm pretty sure it knows the move uh, Dragon Pulse, which I don't like fighting against because sometimes that move just does random crits and i hate it yeah, it's a high crit volume move yeah. um if i had to pick a favorite for pokemon uh from gen 4 um there's there's a few i like um but if there's one that i consistently try to grab besides turtwig as my starter um i'm really drawn to parcherizu i know it's kind of like a pokemon clone i mean not pokemon clone a pikachu clone some people would say but it's adorable it's a little lightning squirrel um, I, I happen to like him a lot. I always, Parcherizu, this one here. I see him. Mm-hmm. I see like that. Well, that's just the way, uh, the way it looks. Um, that's, so, like I said, conceptually, it's just one of the more adorable Pokemon that I'm attracted to when playing through the generations, but that's, that's my pick if I'm picking one favorite from Gen 4. Um, if we're going to go to Gen 5 now, Benny, do you want to kick us off again with Gen 5? Yeah! Five. Among Us. Right? Oh, yeah. You liked Among Us because it, it reminded you of Among Us. Among Us. Among Us. <laughs> Among Us. So Among Us is a, is a mushroom Pokemon and it kind of resembles a Pokeball. It's kind of like the equivalent of Gen 1 trying to find a Voltorb or trying to look, pick up an item and finding a Voltorb instead. Uh, Among Us took over that because um, it looks like a Pokeball. But then... Yeah, I'm just talking in circles at this point. And then Among um, Us happened. And then Among Us happened, and now it just sounds like Among Us. Among um, us. So, Jace, what would what would you say is your favorite Pokemon from Gen 5? Zoroark, can I think the Pokemon who have the whole idea of their whole thing being like, a, like, pretending to be another Pokemon, I really like. So, basically, how the whole, like, transforming into a Pokemon thing worked, instead of it being, like, whatever you're fighting, it's, so, so the Pokemon that's at the back of your party, it will turn into, 
but it will stay the type it is, unlike Pokemon like Ditto. So if someone's using a water type Pokemon like Blastoise, and they think, oh, this guy's using a Charizard, I'm going to one-shot them with Hydro Pump. You use Hydro Pump, and you're like, why didn't that kill him? And then it's like, and then it turns into Zoroark, and you're just like, guess I'll die. Guess I'll die now. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's funny. Um, so, yeah, like I said, Gen 5, uh, this one had a lot of different Pokemon I could have okay. talked about. Um, this one was probably one of my favorite overall Pokedexes. Um, you've got Scolipede, which is which is awesome. Um, Sandile, uh, Scraggy, who, I, again, I find is absolutely adorable. Honestly. Um, you know, there's Joltik, um, but the, uh, Litwick uh, was, yeah... There's a lot of good Pokemon in this one, but if I had to pick one, um, damn, man, it's so close. It's down to Axew or Rufflet. Um, Rufflet, again, is adorable, and Braviary is really strong, yeah. but I tend to lean more towards a dragon type, so I think I'd have to pick Axew as my favorite for this gen. May I please tell you something really cool about one of the Pokemon in this generation? Uh, sure, go ahead. So, so there was this game on the Wii and the Switch, it was ported to the Switch, called Pokemon Tournament, mm -hmm. and in the game, for some reason, you could play as, I forgot what the final evolution of Lit, of Chandelure? Lit, you could play as Chandelure, mm -hmm. for some reason, you would just punch people with Chandles. Yep. It would make no mm -hmm. sense, you could be fighting a Charizard. Yeah, considering that it's a fighting a fighting game, and that they even had a ghost Pokemon in there is kind of comical. But yeah, Axew is, I think, probably the pseudo-legendary for Gen 5. Uh, you pick the pseudo-legendary for Gen 4. I'm going to pick Axew. Axew, again, is very, it's an adorable-looking dragon-type Pokemon to start. And then it just grows more and more ter uh, terrifying and ferocious the more it goes into Haxorus and Fracture being its middle form. Hey, Dad. So... If I had to solidify one pick for Gen 5, I'm going to go Axew all the, every day. Another cool fact about Axew, if you want to get one in Generation 8, first you have to get the surfing, and then there's an island in the middle of the wild area uh, near some bridges that you ride to, and on very rare occasions, Axew will spawn there. Yeah. yeah. It's rather Axew, Beware, or Gallade, I think. So... That's all our favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. Yep, and now, uh, Gen 5 was uh, black and white, I believe. Yeah, and then, black and white. Yeah. Uh, did we say what Gen 4 was, or did we just say Gen 4? <laughs> no, we said what, uh, no, we just said Gen 4. That was Diamond, Diamond and Pearl, Pearl. Platinum. Yeah. And uh, I'm going to say this part was very confusing. Mm -hmm. Like, Diamond Pokemon exclusives were really good. But pearls just kind of looked weird, like mm -hmm. like the fossil Pokemon. I don't really like its design because it's just weird, mm -hmm. a weird dinosaur with a weird face. Unlike diamonds, it's just a just a just a yeah. Let's not we're not gonna skull. get too much into because we're just mm -hmm. trying to cover our favorite Pokemon. Um, so Gen Six, which was X and Y. Um, let's see here, Benny. I believe I remember which Pokemon you said was your favorite. Um, it was. What was it? Who is it? I'm pretty sure. It was that one. Yeah. Uh, right? Yeah, yeah the dinosaur. Tyron. The, the little baby uh, rock T Rex. It's rock and dragon. And it's uh, also a fossil. And it's also a fossil Pokemon. Our first fossil Pokemon to crack the list of favorites. Um, Jace, do you remember what your favorite from Gen 6 was? Gudra. Gudra. The superior Ooh, dragon uh -huh. type. Uh, that's, that's debatable. Dad? It is a pure dragon, so it, it it's really only has the two weaknesses dragon and ice, but. Conceptually, I'm not a fan of its design. <laughs> I refer to it as a booger dragon, but which is very wrong. It's a, it's a, it's it just I don't know. Like I said, I, I'm not a big fan of its design. But it go has, on, tell us why you like it. I'm not gonna stop telling I people why I don't like it. It really good because the whole point of it is to be rare. Like up to this point, all the pseudo legendaries you could just get dragonite. You you paid you just you just bought it, Gen two, I don't think it had one. Gen well, three, Gen one. When you mean you bought it, you you mean you had to buy a ticket to the Safari Zone, right? No, you could just buy them at the casino. Yeah, I th but I think they were expensive, weren't they, to buy at the casino? No, they were just like three hundred. Either way, you had to buy it because you had to pay to go into the Safari Zone. Or you had to pay to go into the casino. So I'll yeah. give you that one. Yeah. Then Gen 
freeze you could just get by playing the game. Well, yeah, I mean, that's, that's the way you there. want the want to get the, the Pokemon. Is you'd have to play the Gen game. Gen 4s was a little more of a challenge. It was a mystery on how to get it. Like, it was mist like, weird, because you would never know how to get it unless you went to a very special cave, and you can only find it in that cave, and it's hidden under a bridge. So, yeah, and then once you got to Gen 5... I don't know. See, that's, the, that's the reason I don't like picking Pokemon that are hard to find and or legendaries. Um, because I've spent all this time already, like, I don't know. I've, I don't know if anybody else can relate to this when playing Pokemon, but I get, like, emotionally attached to the Pokemon that I pick. So it's like I, I spend most of the game raising up this one Pokemon, and then I'm just supposed to swap it for some overpowered legendary at the end of the game. <laughs> to me, it just doesn't... It doesn't I, I don't know. I get attached. That's why I also get attached a lot to Pokemon. So that's why whenever I play a Pokemon game and I'm ready for, like, a pseudo-legendary Pokemon, I will never put a slot there. Like, if I'm wanting that legendary Pokemon, just I'm not picking anything else for that sixth slot. I, uh, unless it's on some occasions, like Gen 9, I didn't really want that legendary on my team. Plus, the rest of the Pokemon are really overpowered. Yeah, I mean, but we'll get into 7, 8, and 9 into the final um, Gudra, version of this mini-series. Gudra was also, like, a very hard Pokemon to find. Like, same thing as uh, Gabite and all that stuff. Gibble, you could, Gabite. Uh, Gabite, Gibble, Gabite, all that stuff. The only way to get him, or her, depending on which gender you pick, basically, you would have to wait until in real life... It was raining, which if you're playing in the summer, good luck on getting it. So then you would have to wait for it to rain, and then on some miracle, you would actually get one. And that's not saying you would accidentally kill it, because you could have already beaten the game at that point, have very overpowered Pokemon, and one-shot it, and be like, huh, well that wasn't fun. And then you would have to wait so long for the next rainy day, and then you're just like, Okay, so hopefully you're in a hurricane and it's raining for a couple of days, so you have more of a chance to catch it. But of course, when you're in a hurricane, you like flying with type power. Pokemon. Yeah. Well, we will do another. We'll do another episode about that where no, we talk about our favorite about types. The but the one. And... so for Gen Six, my favorite Pokemon is probably Noibat. Um, Noibat's pretty weak when you first catch it, but it it's adorable, and. You have to kind of raise it up with like an XP share or kind of just swap it in and out of battle in order to get an XP. Like I said, it's kind of weak, um, but it's well worth it once it evolves into Noivern. Noivern is very powerful and very fast. You can use it as a revenge swap. If one of your Pokemon dies in battle, you can send him out. Uh, it's got a very wide range of moveset. And like I said, it's just Noibat's just adorable. Um, what do you think, Ben? I think I like it. Yeah. Yeah, I like Noibat. Noibat is the hardest Pokemon to get, probably. I if want, we're not counting legendaries I and Gen I think Eight, I want it. Because it's Tulsa in the wild area. I think I want Being in the harder I part of the wild area. It. And it running away from you, like some Pokemon. Well, you can also find it in, uh, I forget the name of the mine, but you can find it I in the mine where you find I, the, I the Kabu, the fire-type gym leader. Yeah, I but they also run away there. So yeah, but just... I'm, and we're also not talking about that. We're talking about Gen 6. We're not, we'll talk about Gen 8 in a future video. Stop giving away content. <laughs> um, but anyway, that's my pick for Gen Six. Pidgey, yeah, Pidgey. <laughs> All right, well, we'll, we'll cover well, more. I'm not, not, not talking about Pidgey. What are you talking about then? I'm talking about Golbat. Golbat. Golbat's Golbat. a cool flying type. Um, but I'm... we'll talk about more. We'll, we'll maybe get more in depth with favorite types in, a, in another video. But I think that'll basically wrap us up here, guys. Did you guys enjoy talking about Pokemon again in this episode? Yeah. I liked it. Um, do you guys have any final words you want to say to the viewers or listeners at home before we me, wrap me, up? Me, what me, do you want me, to say, me, 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 me. All right, what's up, guys? You better like this channel because it's so good and I, I liked it. You better enjoy. All right, uh, Jace, do you have any final words? Yes. Um. So basically, uh, this is another thing about Gudra. In the new game, um, hold it, um, Pokemon Arceus Legends, you know, the Pokemon got, 
I forgot what they were called. Something. A regional variant? Yeah, a regional variant. Like Hasuian, I think it was called. Hasuian. Mm-hmm. Hasuian form. And it would change the typing or just give it an extra type of depending on the Pokemon. Yeah, they turned it into a snail, which I think fits with the whole you know, slime dragon thing that I was mocking on before, but believe it or not, I actually like the Husuian form better Honestly, than the regular form. I think form. what they did with it was really creative, unlike what they did with <clears throat> the starters, which shall not be named, because they ruined so many good Pokemon. I wouldn't say they ruined them, but that, that we can debate that in a, in a future episode. They Let's just... To, some of the forms are bad, some of the forms are good, but yeah, well, subscribe. We, yeah, like like and subscribe this video if you guys yeah, uh, have job. enjoyed. <laughs> like enjoyed. and subscribe and never come back. It's just... No, we want them to come back. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and we so, want you guys to come back. Yeah. So like this... Joe like this video. <laughs> Like this video, subscribe to the channel. You can also find us on Twitter, and Instagram, and Facebook, um, Facebook to stay up to date on any new news for the channel. You can get but, some Facebooks about me and Dad and Jace. <laughs> but thank you guys for watching, and enjoy the rest of your day.